but that's it. All right. 20 minutes plus two here at the C-Class race. Want to wish everybody a good race tonight. Best of luck to all of our uh, participants. And I hope this is a good show for everybody in the stream. Uh, please feel free to let me know if my audio is off at all. I'm happy to turn the game up. I'm happy to turn my mic down, whatever it is we need. <clears throat> all right, full gate here. Not quite a full gate at Redbud, but a very packed gate for the C-Class tonight, boys. Again, I'm joined by Mojo. Mojo, feel free to hello. say hello to everybody. How are you guys doing? You guys ready? Tons of Factory Goon representation on the line. We've got a lot of different teams who showed up tonight. iTech Racing, Black Diamond Racing, we've got CC Racing, we've got Ad, uh, Ad Graphics here, PCH Racing. Guys, this is going to be amazing. Let I want to say I like uh, Felipe's and Paradox gate pick. I think that's probably the best gate you can pick for this track, in my opinion. There's a lot of carnage that's going to happen on the inside, that's for sure. I think they're either they were given that gate or they're going to try to play it safe. We'll see. All right, the gate is down, boys. Here we go for the C-Class race at Redbud. And it looks like a good clean start, no jump starts. Zach goes down, of course. A lot of people are about to. All right, looks like we have Guez and Licker taking the lead here. Guez gets a nice start coming down the straight. Licker in second, Barboza in third getting passed by Caleb. Oh. Paradox was in fourth but gets pushed down. So Barboza, Caleb goes down as well. So this is Guez in first, Licker in second, Barboza in third. A lot of carnage is going to happen here, boys. A lot of stuff is about to go down in this opening lap. Looks like Kenny might have moved into fourth. Oh, man. This is man. going to be such a good race, guys. It is gnarly. I do not want to be one of those C-class riders right now going five wide over the first triple. Kenny with a good start in Uranus. Kenny started in Uranus. That's right. All right. <laughs> Man, who is uh, anybody getting getting lagged back here? It looks like the entire pack should at least be in this lane. Felipe, no. Felipe's start did not pay off well for him. Mythic Rain is in last. All right, let's go check in with our leaders of the moto here. They're just going into the sand rollers. All right, so Guez might be checking out early here. He is already entering the sand rollers. Second place is Barboza with Tryhard, who is just now entering them as Guez is exiting them. Liquor with Sunbelt is in third. Kenny in fourth. We have an accident here already. Paradox and Uranus are having a battle for fifth. Uh, and Navo is circling back up in sixth. I'll pay more attention to timing and scoring as we start to get through our second full lap here. Um, but I want to stick with some of these oh, major whoa. packs. The leader crashed, through. and he is now stuck on the lip of the jump. He's going to get past. All right. but, uh, but, uh, yeah, that gives Barbosa the lead. Uh, we, we didn't talk about that e earlier, but, you know, oh, some people, again. this inside line, they like to launch it after after Larocco's, launch it into the sand, uh, cut this little roller here at just an angle where they can jump and hit the finish line. But what happens is if you land wrong, your front tire will wash and it will throw you onto this plank here where you cannot ride and you will be stuck until you hard reset. A lot of carnage and chaos here happening in this uh, in this hole shot corner again. Everybody's going down. This looks like the gate just dropped. What's happening? Um, the leader has a good lead, but Kenny is behind him. We know anything about Kenny is he's going to be charged into the front. Yeah, those CC racing guys definitely want to prove that they're a force to be reckoned with in the Backyard MX series. So he is going to do everything he can to take the lead here. Man, it is wild. It is a wild night already, and we are still only on our second lap. Oh, paradox man he keeps tipping over keyboard warrior he needs to just there is guez here put his head down and get going Let's see is guez still in first or is first place to barboza so it does look like barboza, barboza is in first uh with guez in second kenny third now he got passed all right let me turn my volume up real quick guys i apologize All right, let's see what's happening here. So Kenny is in third, trying to catch up to Guez, and Barboza is in first. Mojo, will you keep an eye on that battle for me, please? Yes, sir. So I think JJ here is in fifth. Man, there is a gap here. The top three riders, top four, are really checking out. There is still so much happening from about sixth back that 
anything can happen in this race. Again, guys, we had about 30 people sign up for the C-Class, so right now you have got a packed track. Uh, 16 minutes left in the moto. That first four minutes flew by. We're only done with our second lap here. Timing and scoring puts Barboza in first, Guez in second, Kenny in third, and they have completely checked out on fourth place. Now, obviously, mistakes can happen. Liquor can catch up, but this is... This is already looking favorable for our top three when everybody else in the pack is going to be fighting tooth and nail, clawing their way through. Anybody can I, make a mistake. I also noticed when they are all doing the Loraco, they all chose to do the outside line. So I think they're all playing it safe right now. Ooh, pass for the lead. So many people on this list. Let's see, where is Guez? No, the auto camera is not going to work. Where is Kenny? All right, where are they on the track? Took it from Bora. They're going over the tabletop before the sand rollers. All right, let's take a look here. So Guez made the pass for first, you say? Yep. He, he second. forced his way into the front. All right, so both, we talked about this line. already. At the end of lap number two, they were 15 seconds up on Liquor, and he has completely oh. caught up. So this Boza is, is down, and then the Kenny and Liquor get together. Oh, Kenny no. survives. Kenny no, they're next it neck. Through. Kenny capitalizes on the mistake here, takes second place away from Barboza. Guez is going to try to check out while these guys figure out what the heck they're going, what they're doing back here. Launching it over the leap, Kenny in second, Barboza in third. Uh, Liquor it took him a little bit longer to uh, to come back from that mistake, so they've put a small gap on him again. And Bar Barboza oh, yep, goes down. Goes down. I bet Kenny is stoked about that. Now that, he has some breathing room. Yep, that gives Kenny the breathing room he needs to not feel so pressured. But then again, we've still got 14 minutes left in the moto. Liquor's proving to be pretty quick, and he does not want to let that gap close. So the pressure is really still on him. All right, let's go back here and see what else is happening. So Barboza, man, I'm telling you, this finish line can really mess your race up. JJ is doing so well. JJ in fifth place. He must have avoided a lot, of early, a lot of early round or uh, early moto chaos. Mims is doing good, too. Sixth place. Yeah, for real. Guys, these are, these are some of the C-class riders who have been with oh. us for a long time. Did Paradox go down? Yes, he did. He yeah. needs to beat uh, JJ in the points, right? They're like one point... Uh, JJ is one point ahead of Paradox, yes. So if Paradox finishes ahead of JJ in any way, shape, or form in this moto, then he will take the red plate uh, in, in our C-Class. So let's go on board with Mimi's here. Um, let's see, Mimi's uh, ended that previous lap in sixth place, uh, followed by six with CC Honda. So we're about to see a battle between these two here. Again, the CC Racing guys... Um, you know, just to kind of promote them for a minute, exclamation point CCSX in the chat. If you guys are interested in joining the CC Racing Supercross Series, which will have its opener this Saturday, um, CC Racing, and Mimi's goes down. Mimi's gets pushed into the SpongeBob and goes down over the tabletop, or just before the tabletop, unfortunately. So six with CC Honda takes the, uh, the sixth place here. That's fitting. Uh, let's see what happened to Mimi's, though. Uh, it looks like he rebounded pretty well. I don't think he got passed. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, guys, exclamation point CCSX if you're interested in joining and uh, qualifying for the CC Supercross Series. They have been a big help in helping us uh, pack these races and grow the Backyard MX Series, as well as Mimi's here, who is the co-founder of the Backyard MX Series. So Paradox has caught up to him. Uh, it looks like this is going to be a battle for seventh place. Paradox, our our buddy, our pal here, uh, the keyboard warrior. So let's talk about Paradox here for a moment. Uh, <laughs> maybe he wouldn't want us to. <laughs> maybe the commentator curse is, uh, is too much. So uh, Paradox has been with us in the C-Class since the beginning. Uh, he had some really bad luck in round three of Backyard MX, but started to bring it back in round four and five. You know, eighth place might not seem like it's the greatest finish, but you guys got to realize these are packed races. Um, our our C class is really coming up. These riders, you know, they started out at a certain skill level and a certain caliber at the beginning of this race series, and they're working as hard as they can um, to move up into higher classes to win the class that they're in now. They're putting in practice relentlessly throughout the week, and it is it is paying off. I mean, 30 riders to a class right here, and Paradox is currently in seventh place uh, with Felipe with iTech coming in close to him, trying to take that position away. So 
So here we have Rippin. Uh, Rippin's story has been a little bit more fortunate than, than Paradox's in the C-Class. Um, Rippin joined us in round five at Dorno and finished seventh in the C-Class and then managed to take it home on a podium last week uh, at Paletta for round six. So Rippin MX out here representing the Factory Goon team. Um, he has been a just a very nice guy warm welcome to the factory goon team and he's doing his best uh he's doing his best to put it down out here let's take it over here to liquor because i want to see the race there the battle that's happening between him and kenny he takes kenny out as soon as we tune in so i think he just took the place uh the second place position kenny's not going to be happy about that sorry mojo what were you saying uh luge he's usually a front runner up in this class and he's a little bit buried and i'm curious what at the end of the race where he's going to end up so he is in a battle for what appears to be about 16th place. And there is still a lot happening in this pack back here. So we've got, let's see, to confirm what place is Navo in. Navo looks to be at 15th uh, in timing and scoring at the end of the last lap. Uh, shout out to Navo as well. He commentated our Backyard MX straight rhythm race. Um, so he is in what is probably 15th. And we have a pretty close battle here uh, with Pybert, Luge, Anthony, and Joshua. So let's stick with it here for a moment. Oh, and Luge. Oh, no. Pybert uh, ended up over jumping. Luge tried to, to whip it over LaRocco's and ended up throwing his bike into Anthony's. Anthony was the one who paid the price, but he ends up getting back up and running a little bit quicker than them. However, it's this man right here, Joshua163, who capitalized on that mistake and took that position away. Oh, and uh, Nava The leader's going through uh, lap traffic right now. Just passed Luge, and, and I just gave him a commentary curse. Oh, no. Oh, and he is completely caught up to lap traffic. So we were really right here just a moment ago. He's lapping all the way up to, what is this? Mimi's is in 12th. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are probably going to watch this, and they're going to say, move Guez to B, move Guez to B, get him out of C class. He's lapping so quickly. But, like, guys, so much happened. Like, I think... We weren't even done with the second lap, and there was that accident right around the uh, the hole shot um, that caused such a pile up that you know it gave him this lead that has created this um, this lapping situation. So, I mean, Guez is just out here keeping it up on two wheels. Obviously, he just crashed, but you know what I'm saying. He's uh, he he got the benefit of a good start, and he's not going to to give it away. He's got. He's completely checked out on liquor, so I mean, for the next eight and a half minutes, as long as Guez can do well, then then he'll take this moto home. Um, liquor has put a gap in between himself and Kenny. Uh, let's go check in with Kenny here and oh, see if he's uh, battling with Barboza. Barboza is catching. He's not completely close, but going through this lap traffic, anything happened. Kenny just needs to be smart and get around these guys as safe as possible. So I want to look at timing and scoring here. There could be some... Oh, man, these track cams don't want to cooperate here. As soon as you go off of one, they go off of all. All right. Um, let's go back down here and see. Ryder and Caleb. Uh, Mojo, if you can try to find where Kenny and Barboza are on the track. Go over the table uh, before the sand rollers right now. Going into the sand rollers, Kenny is. All right, so Kenny's in the sand rollers. Where is Barboza? He's just entering it now. So he ha Kenny still has a good lead, but it looks like Barboza's charging hard. So Kenny needs the the pit board needs to come out and go, go Kenny, go go, he's coming. Yeah, yeah. Liquor has pushed up into second. He just crossed the finish line, and he is he is now going through lap traffic as well. Um, so it looks like Liquor is currently lapping up to about. 23rd maybe i don't know if that's correct i don't know if uh uranus here is more than one lap down i believe he might be um all right more chaos here anthony and moonzer battle with mythic rain here so let's let, let's stick with this for a moment uh anthony is current oh and moonzer goes down man sometimes the spectator curse is just too real you get in on a battle you you want to see something happen between two riders um and they end up going down unfortunately Ooh. I, I just have to bring this in. JJ's down. Paradox is ahead of JJ now. Oh no. Okay. Let's go to let's go. JJ just crashed on Loraco's leap and is right down behind Felipe right now. So Paradox has moved up into seventh place. Um 
Felipe is he's pretty far behind here. Yeah, he's just now coming around the whole shot corner. Oh, Paradox went down. Paradox went down at the bottom of the step up. He's trying to get it back up on the track as quickly as he can. Uh, so let's see, what is that shorten the gap to uh, with Felipe and JJ? So JJ is right behind Felipe. Uh, I mean, there's still about a two lane, uh, a, a two lane gap here, if you will. Um, but Paradox is going to have to keep it consistent. Uh, He's just smashing those keys right now. He is smashing those keys, guys. Paradox is known as the keyboard warrior because he plays this game on keyboard. So he is, you know, those Cherry MX keys are clacking right now, um, and he is doing everything he can to, to stay ahead. Felipe almost goes down in the previous corner. Um, so, yeah. The story for JJ here, guys, again, JJ is currently sitting in the lead for the C-Class, and he does not want to give up um, his quote-unquote red plate uh, to Paradox, but if he doesn't make something happen here and catch Felipe and then catch Paradox within the next probably 8 to 10 minutes, uh, then the unfortunate situation here and the good news for Paradox is that he will take the lead. JJ will move into second place uh, in, in the C-Class point series. It, uh, Paradox is just looks like he's charging. He's catching up to Rippin. He's going to make more spots here. So Kenny is in second coming down the step up, or third, I'm sorry. Barboza is in fourth having just hit the finish line. I guess we'll stick with this story now between uh, Felipe and Paradox. I don't want to lose it. So Paradox has just hit the finish line. He's coming back through the whole shot right now. Um, and as you say, he has caught up to Rippin. Did six go down? Did you say that? I did not see six go down. All right, so Felipe and JJ are making the lap. They're getting through lap traffic on Caleb right now. Yeah, Paradox is going to go for the move here soon. Oh. Felipe went for the move on JJ, I think is what happened, and ended up taking them both out. So they're both back up on two wheels, hitting the step down right now. Let's go check in on what's happening between Paradox and Six. Did, did Paradox go down? No, I don't no, think he, he did. No, he's still... MIRB loops it out in the sand. Oh, oh. oh and oh, Zach Paradox. just barely missed it. He lucked out so much right there. He took the far, uh, the far wide line there, and it paid off for him, so... Uh, Paradox is trying to catch Rippin right here and put a further gap between him and JJ. He says, not only do I want the red plate, but I want to take you for dollar martinis at Gapplebee's, Mr. J. <laughs> so Rippin is trying to lap Luge, I believe. Ooh, Paradox getting squirrely. He's gooning it. The he goon. it off. Oh, and he goes down. That's okay. So that's okay. He does have the gap. So let's see, Six has caught up to Barboza. Is that what I'm seeing here? Has Six made the pass on Rippin? I believe so. So right here, between Barboza and Six, Six has closed a gap, and this is a battle for fourth place. Barboza sits in fourth. Six on CC Honda is currently in fifth place. Yep, timing and scoring is updated. So we've got Six in fifth. That's going to be confusing to say. Rippin is in... Oh, wait, Six has cut. So technically Rippin is in fifth. If Six wants to maintain a fifth place finish or better here, then he's got to put gaps between him and whoever's behind him. Um, because oh, the cuts are not going to be from Barboza, lane. Uh, here. Yeah, Barboza is currently sitting in fourth, uh, and his position is being challenged. Oh, and Six, oh, goes, six down. goes down. So that's even worse for him oh, because he still goes has out again. the cuts. Yeah, he tried to get back up on track and got taken out by, uh, by Rippin. And that gives Paradox the position to move up into sixth place. Uh, it should be sixth place. Barboza in fourth, Rippin in fifth. Paradox goes down. Almost took Luge with him, so six went down earlier. Uh, I mean, it's okay. He's got his position back, but at the same time, the cuts are going to get the best of him, and he might end up in, in a worse position uh, than he started this lap with due to those cuts, so... So let's see, we have Paradox here, Luge close behind, Mike with Black Diamond Racing. So here is Felipe. So earlier Felipe and JJ were battling. Felipe is, let's see, where is JJ? Something happened, something must have happened to JJ because he's getting lapped currently by our leader and he is a lot further back than he was. So I apologize for missing what happened here with JJ, but uh, he is no longer in a battle with Felipe um, and he has now been lapped by the leader. Uh, by Guez. So Guez is really putting on a clinic here, guys. He is not messing around. 
Uh, PCH Racing is trying to make their way to the top of the backyard MX food chain, uh, and he is not taking any any hostages. It is death on arrival for anybody in Guez's way. So I don't know where Mike is in the standings, but Felipe is trying to get around him uh, and just just put this battle to death here. Almost takes Mike out, but Mike keeps it up on two wheels. So. All right, let's go check in um, with Rippin. And where is Barboza behind him? So Barboza is hitting the double here. Six is technically in front of Barboza, but again, the cuts are going to get the best of him. Oh, our leader's down. So here is Paradox. Paradox is in seventh. And there's three laps to go. And there's th Yeah, there's going to be three laps to go. So, so 23 seconds left in the moto before we start counting down the laps. I just want to, to put you in, in, in Paradox's position here. So let's imagine that you're in seventh place, right? The sixth and fifth place riders are literally within your view in the same lane as you, but there are also lappers on the track who you have to get through. So not only is lap traffic a problem tonight in terms of you know the, the leader uh, and everybody else who is coming through, but if these lappers don't move out of the way, uh, then, then there are moments like this for Paradox where he might not be able to capitalize as well as he could on the mistakes of the 5th and 6th place riders in front of him. But when you get into lap traffic such as this, you're going to have lappers who are having battles of their own. They're not going to care if you're waving a blue flag in their, fla in their face because they have a points battle to, uh, to participate in as well. Will they both take the inside? Oh, Paradox getting around that lap where he's like, get out of my way. Took the inside, I... clears the lead. Big Boston, baby. All right. Almost goes down, or at least it looks like he did. So he crosses the finish line in sixth. Now you see that six is physically in front of him, but we've talked about it before. The cuts are going to get the best of him if he's not careful. So he is trying to push onto Barboza as hard as he can right now. Um, so let's go down track side here and let's get a closer eye on this battle. So here we go. So this is the battle for fifth place. Uh, I'm not sure where Rippin MX is on the track. He's probably not that far ahead, but he's starting to put a gap in between these riders right now. So two laps to go. Uh, Guez is going to cross the finish line any moment now, I'm sure, and we're going to get the white flag, or he already has crossed the finish line, and we do have two full laps left to go. Mimi's gets taken out uh, as these guys come through uh, with the lap traffic here. So again, guys, if you're if you're not aware, this is our battle for fifth place here between Barboza and Six. Six is technically at the end of the previous lap in seventh place because of cuts. So even if he passes Barboza, he's going to have to put time in between him and Barboza to make the pass stick. I don't know where he got the cuts. I don't know how, but... Oh, know. Paradox just got taken out by a lapper. No, he was. I think he was trying to get past Moonzer and accidentally hit him. He was probably yeah. just tapped through those rollers and couldn't, and couldn't correct enough to miss his bike. So I think... Uh, I think Mimi's is down a lap, so I don't think Paradox has lost his position. Goes for the inside. Try not to connect. Case is the lead, but still makes it over. All right, let's go check back in with Barboza in six. I don't want to lose sight on the battle. Barboza uh, cased the leap, and it caught uh, six caught right back up to him. Guys, it may not look like much from the spectator view, but the track is starting to get... You know, it's it's starting to get rutted, so that's going to affect, especially these braking bumps here. Um, it, it, it's it's going to affect how the race is and how the riders are managing. So um, we'll see what happens real quick. I want to check in with Guez, who has passed the finish line. It is now white flag. The white flag is out. So let's see here. Go on board with six here for a moment as he tries to catch Barboza for the last lap. Barboza and Six are just neck and neck. This is such a good race. Both throwing it sideways. 
yeah, Six knows that he has very little time to make something happen. Is he going to go for it? Is he going to try to take an inside line and push Barboza out? Is he going to try to, you know... I is... like Six's uh, style. He's taking different lines, but he's catching up on the straightways. He's, like, takeout range. If he wanted that spot, he could, he could go for it. Oh, and Barboza oh, goes Barboza down and gives won't. it away. And he goes down tragically to the point where Six is going to get that gap that he wants. And he's going to be able to put the position up on Barboza. So he shouldn't have to worry about whether or not he will officially finish uh, in, in fifth place here. But Kenny has gone down also. So now Six is in a prime position to take fourth place away. And those are the checkers right there. Uh, let's see if they, if, if they call it or if they keep riding. Uh, I don't know for sure whether the checkered flag is actually out for those guys. It might just be waving for Guez. I don't know if it shows for me and white flag for them or what. Uh, it's white flag for me. Okay, so, all right. So, guys, six has one last lap to push up here um, and put the physical position in on Kenny. Guez for, for, just finished. Six makes a mistake, gets a little squirrely in the corner and slides out. I mean, it was just a split second, but even that put enough, you know, a couple bike links extra uh, between him and Kenny. So, you know, just little mistakes can cost you, you know, just little milliseconds here and there, but those add up at the, at the end of a lap. He, you know, he, he pushes over the outside berm there and doesn't get the good drive. So here's Barbosa. He's coming in hot. He's trying to catch back up. I think Barbosa is, is he's physically in sixth place, but timing and scoring puts him in fifth. So if he can move up to, um, I don't think it's really going to matter for him. If he he could stay right where he is now and still beat six in timing, six with CC Honda uh, in timing and scoring. Uh, even if he makes the pass on six, I still think uh, he'll stick the fifth place finish here unless something tragic happens. Who is it that went down? MIRB. Um, so last lap, guys, we have just maybe four or five more corners left. Uh, Kenny and six. Oh, here are, comes six. Yep. This is going to be. We'll see what Six does. He might, you know, I don't know if he's using Max HUD plug-in or what, but he probably doesn't care. They're teammates on the uh, on the week, but uh, when the gate drops, there's... Oh, there's... and he cases the leap! And gives it Go away down. to Barboza. Oh, oh but no. he went for it. He went for it. That's all that matters. Yep. He full send. Desperation got the best of him. He had no choice but to send it. It unfortunately didn't pay off for him, but it really didn't change... Um, the race results anyway, so really good effort by six there um, And paradox comes across in seventh Felipe is in eighth so Man 20 minute plus two moto guys that flew by that was a fun c-class race uh, Let's see we still have riders coming across the finish line, but official timing and scoring puts Guez with PCH racing in first Liquor with Sunbelt in second and Rippin MX in third Good job, Rippin. Those CC guys always put on a show, don't they? They really do. And, I mean, there's a lot of them, you know what I mean? So yeah, there is a lot. Gonna be a, they're going to be a dominant force in every class that they participate in. Again, guys, exclamation point CCSX in the chat if you're interested in learning more about the CC Racing Supercross Series uh, that is going to have its opener this Saturday. All right, so we still have, let's see here. So we'll go down to results here. Uh, I want to try to let the results trickle in before Impus sets us up for our B-class moto. So, I'm going to get uh, my boots and helmet on, so it was good commentating. Yeah, guys, Mojo is going to leave the commentary booth, and he's going to head down to the track for the B-race. Um, so we will see him here in a little while. Mojo, are you going to rejoin us for the...